Hello friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video. Do you know that although the Earth is a sphere, very different things happen at the top and bottom of it? Well, let's find out some more, because today we're going to learn about the equator and the hemispheres. The equator is an imaginary line that divides the Earth horizontally, right down the middle, as if we were splitting it in two. Everything from the equator upwards is in the northern hemisphere, and its furthest point is the North Pole, where these polar bears live. Everything down on the other side is the Southern Hemisphere, which goes all the way down to the South Pole, and that's where these penguins live. The Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere are exactly the same size, but they have many differences. Above all, the most eye-catching thing is that when it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Do you know why this is the case? It's very easy. Check this out. If we observe the Earth, we realize that its axis, the imaginary vertical line that crosses from pole to pole, is not straight, it's tilted. That means that when the Earth revolves around the Sun, there is a part that is closer to it and warmer. And that's why it's summer there. In this case, the Northern Hemisphere. Meanwhile, the other half, the Southern Hemisphere, is colder. So there, it's winter. And when the Earth rotates and reaches the other side, it's the other way around. That explains that while it's warm in Argentina and its people cool off in the river or in the sea, in Spain it's cold and there are children making snowmen. Another important difference we can observe is that most of the continents are in the Northern Hemisphere. Do you see Europe, North America, almost all of Asia, a good part of Africa, and a little bit as South America are in the Northern Hemisphere. And therefore, we can say that many more people live in the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is emptier. It contains Antarctica, Southern Asia, a bit of Africa, Oceania, most of South America, and lots and lots of water. But there are more surprising, super fun things that make the two hemispheres different. For example, the moon. When the moon is in its crescent phase in the northern hemisphere, it can be seen shaped like a D. While in the southern hemisphere, it's shaped like a C. It's more or less in reverse. If we think about it, it's logical really. The Coriolis force is another extremely curious phenomenon. Isn't it such a strange <laughs> word? The Coriolis force is a physical phenomenon that due to the Earth's rotational movement makes whirlpools. Those that are produced in rivers rotate in reverse in the different hemispheres. In the northern hemisphere, they always turn to the right and in the Southern Hemisphere, they always turn to the left. Curious, isn't it? You can check this by doing an experiment. If you fill a sink with water and remove the plug, observe which way the swell forms when the water goes down the drain. That way, you will be able to tell which hemisphere you live in. It's always good to check that everything they tell us is true, don't you think? Get ready, because today we're going to play a game. That's right, we're going to play hide and seek, and it's going to be super fun. We're going to play all over the planet. And for that, 
we're going to use something that geographers and map makers have been using for a long time. Imagination! Today, we're going to learn about imaginary lines called parallels and meridians. Many, many years ago, the Earth scientists decided that, in order to understand the Earth better, it was a very good idea to create imaginary lines. These imaginary lines have a name. They are called parallels and meridians. Parallels are circular lines that encircle the planet from east to west. You know that these lines don't really exist, right? They're just imaginary, but we're going to draw them like this. The longest horizontal imaginary line is the equator, which you already know, right? Of course you do! Well, remember its name, because it's very important for our game today. The equator is the parallel that divides the Earth into two halves, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Other important parallels are the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle, which are in the Northern Hemisphere, and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle, which are in the Southern Hemisphere. But as you can see, there are many more lines. The distance from any point on the planet to the parallel of the equator is called latitude and it's measured in degrees. But not in degrees relating to hot or cold, but in degrees of distance, which go from 0 to 90 degrees on a scale that goes from 10 in tens. It works like this. Upwards is northern latitude or positive latitude, and downwards is southern latitude or negative latitude. For example, if we are here at this point, we are at latitude 0 to the equator, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30 negative latitude. That's it, we're at a latitude of 30 degrees south. Well, we already know the parallels, now it's time for the meridians. The meridians are semicircular imaginary lines that go from the North Pole to the South Pole, just like the segments of an orange. The most important meridian is one that passes through a place in England called Greenwich. And do you know what it's called? Well, it's very easy. It's called the Greenwich Meridian. You have to admit, the scientists didn't use much imagination there, did they? <laughs> the Greenwich Meridian divides the Earth into the Eastern Hemisphere, which is in the East, and the Western Hemisphere, which is to the west. The distance from any point on Earth to the Greenwich Meridian, which is the zero meridian, is called longitude and is also measured in degrees. It ranges from zero to 180 degrees west, also known as negative degrees, in the Western Hemisphere. In the Eastern Hemisphere, it also ranges from zero to 180 degrees east. For example, if we are here, we are at 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees west longitude, which is equal to minus 40 degrees. If we draw all the meridians and all the parallels of the Earth, we have a grid. This is a geographic coordinate system. The geographic coordinate system allows us to find any point on the planet. Let's try it. This here is the equator, and this here is the Greenwich Meridian. So this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. Now, let's say we're at 20 degrees south latitude and 20 degrees east longitude. Where are we? 
let's see, 10, 20 south latitude, here, 10, 20 degrees longitude, here. We're in Africa. Maybe we'll see some lions. How exciting. <laughs> now you have to find out what coordinates your country is at. Of course, there is nothing better than using your imagination to create fantastic things like imaginary lines, like parallels and meridians. Goodbye, friends. See you next time. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.